Hello everyone, this is Olsan. Welcome back to another automation tutorial with me. In this video, I will be showing you how to filter columns in data table dynamically using UiPath. For this tutorial, I have prepared this sample Excel file which contains lots of information and we have also lots of columns like we have 16 columns here and we will try to filter it out dynamically in UiPath and we are not going to use filter data table for that and it will give you much more power to play with it and make it flexible for you also so let's get back to UiPath and try to do that together normally if you want to filter columns or rows in UiPath you could use filter data table which is this one but in filter data table you have to specify the column names so you have to give them inside here as a value and you should be writing them here not dynamically but hard-coded way so for this reason you won't be able to do that in a dynamic way let's get back to here so for example if you like to remove a column you will come here and type ID for example first name last name at first name and again last name maybe so one by one you need to specify them inside that filter data table and it will be like maybe time consuming job or it will be annoying for your end there is a better way to do that and i will be showing you how to do that dynamically so let me just click cancel um, before starting let me read the excel file which we are going to use for that so read range let's just use workbook and let me specify the excel file which is this one and the sheet name i believe it's sheet one so yeah let me type sheet one and let's just define the data table let me call it employee list and then let's just try to specify the columns that we are going to filter out so let me use a sign for that so basically I will create a list of string to get those names column names and then I am going to use that list inside that uh, dynamic assignment so let me just get it first so let me call it columns to filter and on the right hand side I will just give a string value so basically maybe we can try to filter first name and last name let's see what else age email phone maybe age email phone also maybe birth dates um, what else and department title and address maybe yeah okay let me add them to department title and address so I am using semicolon in between those column names so I am going to split them one by one and create a list from that so let me just click OK then secondly I will need another assign so I will just define the columns list so it should be a list of columns yeah array of T and string okay it's a string array so on the right hand side I will come here and say columns to filter and I will use split function and inside that let me make it bigger 
I will put semicolon and to array. So I got it into the array. I have specified the columns. As you see, it's like a string, not like I am giving it inside filter data table one by one. I am creating that list from this string and then I will use that list as a filtering option. So as a last step, I also add this filtered data table. So let me call it filtered employee list or maybe employee list filtered columns. So on the right hand side I will put a expression so that I can filter out those columns. For that first I will call my data table which is employee list. Then I will put a dot and I will call the default view of that data table. Then I will cast it to the table. So here I will use this function which is asking if I want to get the distinct values which is false for me and also it is asking me column names as a parameter as you see here so I am going to give it my column list which is an array of string so let me click OK and so I need to change it to the data table also let's just get the output and see if it is really working so let me use right range for that and I am going to use the same Excel file let me copy and paste it and sheet name I will call it filtered columns and as a data table I will also use employee list filtered columns so let me just run it just click run file and let's see if it is working or not okay it finished working let's see okay this is the original data table and this one is the filtered ones as you see the column names are the same with the list that we have declared here so it's the same column names and we got all the values inside that column names so yeah we have successfully filtered those columns in our data table I think it will be all for this tutorial and hopefully it will be helpful for you and see you in next video bye for now mm -hmm.